This is the inverting amplifier implemented with the op amp. Our goal is to derive the transfer function of the amplifier V out divided by V in. The answer is negative R2 over R1. V in is the voltage at this point with respect to ground which is not shown. V out is the voltage at this point with respect to ground which is not shown. The transfer function can be derived by removing the op amp and noting ideal op amp characteristics, namely since the voltage here is zero then the op amp will do whatever it needs to do to force to make the voltage at the other terminal the same thing, zero volts. We can make calculations based on that zero volt condition if Vn exists on this side of the equation and zero volts on the other, then the voltage across this resistor is Vn. And therefore the current I1 flowing through this resistor is Vn divided by R1. Likewise, if the voltage over here is V out and the voltage here is zero, then I2 is V out divided by R2. V out would be the voltage across R2. Since there's no current into the ideal op amp, I1 must be the negative of I2, or Kirchhoff's voltage law says I1 plus I2 equals zero. Substituting for I1 and I2, forming the ratio V out over V in, we find the transfer function is negative R2 over R1. Whatever voltage we put in gets multiplied by the gain of negative R2 over R1 to create the voltage out. And that is the inverting amplifier implemented with an op amp.